I thought it was a very interesting session actually with the patients uh, um, advocates one of the th things they mentioned which I really thought was fascinating is how do we manage the hype because you know we are very excited about these products the media are very excited the patients are very excited you know they feel our excitement really but uh, on the other hand, when you look at the hard reality of the outcome of most patients with the current licensed products within their indications, most patients will relapse and die quite quickly of their disease. You know, sadly that's where we are. So it is very important we manage expectations of our patients and it's very important we don't neglect things like palliative care. And I do worry that, you know, we, we as physicians really have the responsibility to help our patients die well if that's where they're going to end up. And it's very easy to neglect that aspect of their care when there's an exciting new technology available. So I think that's very important to get the patient voice there. And also another thing they raised, which I think is vital, is long-term follow-up. And this has been raised also by some of the other speakers too, that short-term, these do actually look reasonably safe. There are clearly some quite significant toxicities, but the mortality rates are relatively low but actually we don't know what these are going to do long term and we are messing around if I can put it like that with the immune system introducing t-cell subsets that we don't quite understand what the consequence of that is um, and it is very important particularly in patients we've cured to have long follow-up so we can see what happens to those patients in the future.